Notion is probably one of the most incredible and flexible organization tools out there. I've been a fan since I first tried it out and almost everything in my life now is organized within Notion. So I've decided to create an entire academic planner or notebook within Notion and share it with all of you. You can take all of your lecture notes, organize school projects, schedule tasks and plan your week. You can also use a monthly calendar and even calculate your grades or school average. This video will just be a walkthrough on what you can find in this personalized workspace and if you want to use this exact format in your Notion app, I will show you how simple it is to duplicate this workspace. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is how I set up my Notion Academic Planner. You can duplicate this exact template in your laptop, in your iPad, your iPhone, you name it. You can also access all of the pages of our Academic Planner here in this left sidebar. And we'll start from the top with the main task list. The main task list is basically a place where you use a drag and drop mechanic to, to organize all of your academic, school or even life related tasks in terms of their progress. So you can start by creating them in this left column, which are tasks you have to do. And then as you start progressing in those tasks, you can drag them to the doing column and when you finish them, you can drag them to the done column. After your main task list, we are going to organization and we have some things under this organization tab. First of all, there's a calendar and this is mostly empty and you can freely fill this calendar out with whatever you want. It can be assignments, other tasks, exams, so you can have a more visual understanding of how much work you'll have throughout the semester. And it can also be useful to schedule other things on a more personal basis. After that, you have the weekly agenda. And it's basically a place where you can assign tasks in specific days of the week or just remind yourself that you're going to have a class. And as you do those things, you can just check the box and the task or the event will be crossed out. After that, you have tests and assignments, and this is basically a column where you should input all the information related to group work, essays, final exams, tests, quizzes, and so on. You can insert the due date of the test or assignment, the class which it relates to, the name or the kind of assignment, and then you can also connect some files related to that assignment as well as notes. In terms of files, I like to upload PDF files already edited in PDF elements, so they already have all of my notes in there and are already highlighted with everything I need to study for that exam, and it's a perfect place to condense all of the files related to a certain test or a certain assignment. We also have a great calculator, and this is basically a place where you can input all of your grades for specific classes. Of course, it, all these calculations depend on your school's evaluation method, so you should check it out and also read the how it works section below, because this is actually a page created by Notion itself, which I customize for different types of classes. You also have a schedule, and this is also a table with a column for time, and then I just divided it into Monday to Saturday, and you can simply input all of your classes by clicking a cell and selecting which class you will have at that time in that day of the week. Both your main task list and your organization tab will be detrimental for the organization of all of your classes. My suggestion then is to color code your classes and create a separate folder for each one of them, like I did here. So if you're using this template in your Notion app, all you have to do is open the class number one and you can just name it with the name of the class you're taking. So for instance, if you're taking international law, you can name this folder international law and that is pretty much it. Inside each one of your classes folders, you will have a syllabus and a table of notes. The syllabus is basically a place where you can input all the information related to that class that applies for the entirety of your semester. Here you have information about your professors, the course description, enrollment prerequisites, readings, required tax, the course schedule, grading, any type of information regarding that class that your professor gave you at the beginning of the semester. This is also a template created by Notion, which I applied to each one of the classes, so you can input all the information related to each class in each one of the class folders. For each class, you also have a table of notes, and for me, this is the perfect way to organize all of the notes you can take for that specific class during lectures or even during discussion. 
I can insert the type of lecture that was taken, the materials that we talked about, as well as the date of the class or of the lecture. And the good thing about this type of table of contents is that it's clickable. This means that when you input your class number or your class name in this cell, you can simply open this as a page. Although Notion has a very simple note-taking system, it allows you to indent information, which makes it very easy to hierarchize information in terms of importance or detail. It also lets you create a second column next to the first column, which is perfect to compare notes and compare ideas and different arguments. It also has the ability to color code your text as well as assign different backgrounds for your text so you can understand how it relates to other parts of your information. So for instance, if this paragraph right here was an example, I could simply color code it yellow so I could know right away that anything in yellow would be an example. So in order to use this table of contents, all you have to do is input all of your class information, open the page and just start typing. You'll have access to a table of notes for each one of your classes, so you can organize everything better instead of having to mix and match everything in one table of notes only. Finally, I also added two other templates to your academic planner. I added the Cornell Note system, which is a template created by Notion, and it basically teaches you how you can implement this note-taking system inside Notion using the different tools that Notion provides you. It has a very clear walkthrough of everything you have to input and everything you have to customize for the system to work. And if you like the Cornell method, all you have to do is use the system in your table of notes that we've just mentioned, and that's pretty much it. I've also added a thesis planning template, and of course that, although this is called thesis planning, you can just call it project planning. It allows you to organize different tasks related to a major project with clear deadlines, status, related notes, and different types of action that you need to take to tackle that specific task. This template will also have two subpages inside, it will have a topics page, it will have the topics page, which you can use to capture ideas for your project. And finally, it will have a sources and notes page. And this is basically a place where you can input all of the documents related to your project. So you don't lose track of any of your bibliography and it will help you organize everything in just one place only. So if you want to have access to all of these incredible tools within Notion, it's very simple. All you have to do is create a free account in Notion and you can go to the description box and I will have a special link down there. When you click this link, you will have something like this. The duplicate button will help you select a workspace uh, where you would like to add a template and it will simply duplicate that template to your own notes and it will just appear here in your left side tab. And that's pretty much it. You can then customize everything as you want since it will be your own private workspace and you'll be set for the entire year with this academic planner. Notion is an incredible piece of software that helps you organize everything. But there are some things that unfortunately Notion cannot do, like helping you organize your email for instance. That is why I watched this course on how to increase email productivity and I learned how to use automated filters, created a flexible folder system and basically just tried to create a set of tools to help me deal with email overload. And if you want to take this course, you can do so for free on today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in dozens of different categories and it can help you build new skills, develop new strategies, and learn more about anything you feel curious about. Skillshare's portfolio includes productivity and business masterclasses, tutorials on how to work with different types of software, language classes, art and design courses, and so on. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all these incredible classes, so no individual payments are required, and since Skillshare costs less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription, it's the perfect platform to continuously develop your skills. If you go right now to this video's description, you will find a special link and promo code that will get your first two months on Skillshare for free. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye guys!